Hey guys, Evan Green with Griffin Arm, and today we're going to be talking about the micro modular sights. The micro modular sights are a metal injection molded 17 4 stainless nitrided QPQ micro sight platform for the Picatinny rail root. Um, these sights most notably feature an interchangeable base plate system. So you can run these sights on the 12 o'clock Picatinny rail, or you can swap out the base plate system and run them on a 45 degree cant, both left and right. So they're ambidextrous with that feature. Uh, additional features, the rear sight system features a low drag uh, adjustment hardware. So you won't, don't have to worry about you know, ripping that off uh, if you handle your gear a little bit more roughly. Um, additionally, there is a 90 thousandths uh, rear aperture in this sighting system. Uh, we found uh, during the R&D that that was a really nice aperture size that gave you a good mix of speed and accuracy. Um, you can effectively engage reduced dipstick steel standing uh, with pretty rapid shots out to 300 meters uh, with, with that aperture. So it's a really nice aperture. Uh, the front sight features an A2 uh, post, which is really neat because we were able to get that post um, R&D and, and designed into a miniaturized micro sight so that you have a lot of options for aftermarket front sight posts. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, additionally, there are shim stock, custom shim stocks that are included, which are meant to ride in the Picatinny channels so that you distribute the pressure uh, exerted on your, on your fasteners over that shim to protect your rail. So that's pretty much all the features of the site uh, itself. We're going to be rolling into the installation uh, procedures now to show you guys how to mount these up and get them zeroed. So to cover installation of the micromodular sites, what you're gonna do first is take your shim stock piece and decide which Picatinny slots you wanna position your site in. You're gonna drop that in. Then you're gonna take your interchangeable base plate, slide that into position, slide your site assembly onto it, and then you're going to come in with your fastener. Now this fastener does not require blue Loctite, but if you'd like to put some on there, feel free. The torque spec on this screw is 18 inch pounds. So if you're using a Wheeler fat wrench or something similar to that, uh, we ask that you do not exceed 18 inch pounds. Before you snug this up completely in its position, what you're going to want to do with your sight assembly is push it forward uh, towards the muzzle. What that's going to do is put the fastener in contact with a Picatinny lug so that you don't have a change of point of impact uh, while you're shooting. So you're going to want to make sure that you do that. Then snug the fastener up and you're installed. Uh, you can deploy and stow the sights uh, very simply just by pulling them up on their locking detent and pushing them down. Uh, the, the rear sight is installed the exact same way, so very simple sight installation, and that covers the installation of the M2 sights. If you guys are looking to purchase this product or any other Griffin product, we highly recommend that you go to our website, griffinarmor.com. Check out our dealer locator map uh, where you can see online retailers, local dealers uh, to purchase from. Also, we thank you for following the channel. Uh, check us out on Instagram. YouTube. Uh, definitely subscribe to our newsletter where we have a lot of value-added content like this. And again, we appreciate you as customers. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.